Yay, it's story time again. More stories about love. And uh, I bring the end of the story of religion as it's been known, because love transcends all that's been imagined and makes all that's been imagined desolate and empty in comparison, because when you got the fullness of love, there's nothing better than the fullness of love. So it's time to kick back, relax, please subscribe, enjoy uh, The Carpenters. I'm getting dating myself, I'm almost 60. And uh, so I welcome you to another reading from uh, my, uh, my, my uh, sanctified work called Gospel of the Dove of Love. <laughs> and uh, we got uh, Mickey and Minnie here. So it's time that all of us start getting closer together. And, uh, you know, the good news is that uh, he wants, the Lord wants us to be as little children. So maybe we all need to go get our own Mickey and our own Minnie. And then if we're having a hard day, we can grab them and they can give us all some warm fuzzies. Think about it. But one thing's for sure, the born again, we've all been people of love. We're all born children of love, the children of God, all are we. And uh, we have separated ourselves. And uh, the Lord arises in this hour, true story. He said, net, net, wrong, go, bongo, wrong answer. He said, thus saith the Lord, I am the God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. So he reasserts his lordship over all flesh. And by doing that, uh, those are the words of John 10, 16. And the Lord prophesied that in the end times, when uh, uh, all things would be restored by uh, Elijah, uh, as, as he said in Matthew 17, 11, that then people would hear his true voice of love with no condemnation in his voice. And uh, all the flocks of men would come, all the folds, of, and he would arise as the good shepherd of all. And that's always what he's been anyways, but it's been veiled and it's been secret. And he has always been the sower of seeds in Amos 9 that has now overtaken his reaper of the harvest and I, Daniel of uh, Latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who arises to embrace my destiny as the one that reveals the lawless one, Morg official, who has 666 on his wall, and he's the sword swallower who would die in Revelation uh, 13 by a sword, be resurrected to become the Antichrist. He lives, and he's got a YouTube station, and so does the false prophet, the one that would call down... Uh, Many uh, fire from heaven in the sight of multitudes. Yeah, Dr. David Auer, O-W-O-U-R of repair and uh, repent. So uh, these are exciting times. And uh, so I'm just going to do a real quick reading here. This is a sanctified work of overflowing joy, saith Daniel. For this is the Lord's latter-day gospel of his highest praises, and its good news is exceedingly great because it's a God-breathed book of his brightest light that doesn't need to dwell upon the darkness anymore, which he has long ago defeated. But even though this overall message of the Lord, Lord message of love, most certainly is divine, its words doesn't have to be. For the wisdom of the Hebrews speaks loud herein, so that anyone with any ears to hear can hear echoes of what the voice Jehovah Sidkenu said unto them. So it's therefore an hour for the prudent to thank. But let the leaves of David's tree, the nation of survivors, now understand that under the shadow of the dove of love's wings shall they now rest, as our father of love bears them up when they are but little. Even by the time their hairs are gray, he shall still happily be carrying them. For his messenger, dove of the eons, knows no other message other than the soft coos of love, which shall never find any quiet at all. And that's, that's, that's really good. Uh, if we were quiet, the rocks would praise him. And for it's, it's that Lord of evermore who now sends forth the bad news that for a real small reward, many foolish men would hurry up for a long journey. And yet, 
for eternal life, multitudes of, would never even waste either a step or a breath and focus not on it at all as if it were, weren't important. The most important thing of life to be ignored. So let those of Daniel 12, of the last Joshua generation that desires to shine as the stars, as Daniel 12 foretold for the wise that will heed my voice, the messenger of Malachi 3.1, the bringer of the vision of God from Habakkuk 2, the revealer of the lawless one from Thessalonians. Uh, what else am I? I'm the alcoholic and the Habakkuk uh, 2 as well. And uh, so I bring forth the fullness of the Gentiles of uh, Romans 11. And then all Israel is saved because of the covenant, Jeremiah uh, 31, <laughs> the kingdom age message, the new, the covenant message of Malachi 3. Anyway, enough with me. So let those who aren't confident about the spirit of death passing over them now arise and let them comprehend that uh, the Lord God of our fathers now desires his blessedness to flow over all obedient enough to receive these blessings of edification and his magnification of love by his softest command. Woe unto those ignoring me. I'm Daniel, his end time Logos, Logos uh, messenger of his sickle uh, of Amos 9 foretold by Habakkuk 2. 1 through 6. All uh, people of earth were told, though it would tarry, wait for it, it shall surely come. And and he said, and uh, concerning the, this book reading, uh, the Lord said, and write the vision upon the tablets, make it plain, so they that readeth it may run, so that they that heareth the word of these words may run through them and absorb them. And uh, for only those that do will receive, uh, uh, if, if they don't, they'll receive a terribly bitter curse of ignorance that they would be clinging to like toilet paper stuck where no sunshine could ever bring forth any kind of tan. Nor shall that son of Hubert, saith the spirit of prophecy, waste any more of his time explaining the reality of the Lord's prophecy being manifested on earth. For that excitement is written all throughout this Islamic dove of peace, which is but a small chapter in his book of the fullness of the time of the Gentiles. The quietness of ignorance must now be shattered, so cry aloud and be heard, all ye who believe in his promises of yea and amen. Open your, your hands, open your hearts, says the Lord Jehovah Shammah, who is there for the 12,000 sealed sons and daughters of uh, uh, Zion. From a uh, 1,000 from each of the 12 tribes of Israel, who are now calling out to him, even now with such zealous expectancy that their dedicated and anxious hearts are presently skipping many beats. Great therefore is their joyfulness as they cry out his holy names, which are far mightier than any others ever given unto any uh, anything amazingly coming forth from his breath, which whispered, and he whispered this, he said, I am that I am, and I am he who has breathed with a hush of over my crib so that I would become his anointed messenger unto all nations. Has anyone ever believed prophecy, people? Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Know ye not that my third Elijah would come again by my spirit in Malachi? Comprehend not the possibility that my word is always true? But ask me, ask Daniel if I'm Elijah, and I'll, I'll firmly say, no, not the first one. For just as John the Baptist de denied being Elijah, so would I, <laughs> as, as uh, I carefully lay out. But just as Isa Yeshua Jesus declared John to be Elijah anyway, so too the Lord God Almighty now proclaims the same thing for me, Daniel of Windsor, uh, after I've been receiving the spirit of Elijah is concerned in order to pen the Lord's uh, latter-day message to all nations. And the duality of Scripture, says the dove of love, 
points to that author of this gospel of the dove. The Lord has never done anything unless he sends a writer. Um, even Moses predicted this for the end time. Uh, Deuteronomy 18, 18, that the Lord would send one like him, a messenger, a uh, covenant uh, writer, and a, a, a covenant messenger of the Lord, and that's what I am. And he said that only death would await, literal, physical. It's the oblivion of Matthew 24, 22, total oblivion of uh, Zephaniah 1, 1. Uh, that won't happen. It's erasable curse of Malachi 4, 6. It's Deuteronomy 18, 18. It's uh, uh, all of Isaiah 24, and it's the days of Noah's exactly. But one thing's for sure, by the Lord's most fervent love for all of us, um, it, it'll, his love will never know any bounds. For at his, uh, at his uh, slightest touch, uh, his love goes before us. And uh, one thing's for sure, that uh, the Lord was told, uh, Daniel in Daniel 12, 13, the Lord spoke to the original Daniel of the lion's den. And he says, go your way until the end be, for you shall rest and stand in your lot in the end days when you arise to embrace your destiny. And the spirit of Daniel is with me. And the Lord of hosts now adds that the unfolding fate of his latter-day Daniel, coming forth in the spirit of that above ruler named Belteshazzar, was his, one of his other Persian names, shall find myself welcoming the rewards from holy peace that will blanket the earth as flowers covering the God's most beautiful gardens. And it's time to become excited and it's time to let his passion flow so love from love hope from hope and uh until next time come on back now you hear